Hey y'all, Instinct Survival is coming to you with another Two Tip Tuesday. This time we'll be talking about candles. More specifically, why use them and lighting one with naturally charred tinder. How about that? Or material. So let's, why use them? Let's go for that first. Why use them? Because what it does do is eventually you're going to run out of fluid in this thing. Could be one of those things where um, I'm going and trying to light tinder, but I need a open, a constant open source to start a fire. Um, you don't necessarily have that all the time with a lighter, right? Because you're going to either run out of fuel or it may be one of those things where we can't light and you need the ability to have that open flame in order to increase the temperature of wet wood, wet tenders, things of that nature. You need that actual open source flame. This actually happens to extend that or opens it up for you and expands the abilities or capabilities, if you will, by utilizing a candle. So uh, good things uh, around that. I've used it a couple of times. A lot of people piling birthday candles. This is actually a plumber's candle. You can buy candles for next to nothing, especially if you go to like the Salvation Army. They've got them by the, by the truckloads on the side. Uh, I've actually taken some of the, uh, the ones that have the, the big glass ones that have the candle in it and they've you know kind of half melted down. You take and warm up the outside, let that candle slide out. There's you another candle, so good to go on that. Uh, also, the plumber's candles, you can find them at uh, discount stores and you can find them at Plumber Supply. Uh, and what they do is they actually last a little bit longer. I don't know if it's just a different type of wax, but they're slower to melt. So I wouldn't say necessarily an emergency candle, but emergency candle would also work as well. So there's that. Now, the other thing is, is why, Bill, would I want to light with charred materials versus, let me just go up here and hit that. Well, there you go. I use gas or fuel or fluid from my lighter. While that's not, you know, a bad thing necessarily, but over a period of time, that might be one of those where we start looking at what do we have? I lost my lighter or even the flint in it is ruined or fill in the blank, right? There's a lot of different reasons why you want to have a backup as an example for this and being able to take and char your material and or light a candle is part of that uh, reasoning, if you will. Now you can do this with char uh, or with, uh, with charred cloth. Um, and I've done it with charred cloth. Uh, basically what you want to do is you're taking the process of heating this up to where you're melting wax onto the material itself. By doing that, what it does do is the wax will light. Okay, so there's pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, there's a couple of guys that's already done this. Uh, I'm kind of just, you know, something I've learned. I want to go ahead and show y'all because y'all might not have had access to them. Uh, Keith Burgess is one that has done it. Uh, great information from him. Um, Dave Canterbury has done it. Um, I, I just the list. There's you can look at it overall. And actually, I'm in this case actually using ch uh, charred material, not char cloth. And in the charred material, I have punk wood. I have pine straw or distress. Excuse me, distress pine straw and poplar bark. So. Uh, the inner strands of poplar bark uh, actually thrown in there and charred up uh, on this morning's fire. So that's what I use for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to reposition the camera so that you can drill down into this or, or see down into it because I want to make sure that you see how it's done. Okay, not a matter of, oh, let me do it from this distance. It's actually better when you're up on it. So that's one of the benefits, if you will, you have for watching mine over theirs is because they don't show you that. Um, all right, so let's reposition and go from there. So guys, it's pretty simple. We're just taking the, the flint and steel. I'm actually switching hands um, because again, all your sparks are gonna go in the basically the direction of the rock. So. We'll get a little melted wax on here because the wax itself is flammable. And there we go, we got open flame. 
Say we had open flame. All right, we have lit candle. So all we did was just basically melt some of the wax on there and then I'll put it out and save it for next time because that's still freaking hot. There we go. Um, melted some of the wax on there and then when you blow that, that actually increases um, the temperature and the wax is flammable. That's the part that's burning. So anyway, that's how you do it uh, as far as the wax or lighting a candle with char or in this case natural tinder. So there you go fellas pretty simple pretty easy not too difficult to do it's just a matter of saying okay how do i do this and then learning the technique uh, the biggest or hardest part of this is dealing with airplanes uh, or the biggest part is actually making sure that you've got your your striker going into the box um, and then making sure you've got a good uh, bed of charred materials so that's it uh, and i know that with my uh, wolf creek forge striker i'm gonna be uh, i'm gonna be a okay so there's that anyway hey guys thanks for all you do thanks for your likes your comments subscribes shares don't forget about that look down below i'll try to put uh keith's or dave's um video in the comments and we'll uh see you next time until then use your instincts to survive thanks for watching it's like a bad birthday candle Jeez.